Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. On this 17th May, as per the statement of Honorable Martha Wangare Karua, Limuru 3 Conference is to bring together not only Kikuyus, but all Mount Kenya people via their reps for a stock take and deliberations for a common approach towards their future that demands so. Earlier on, uh, the former Mungiki leader, uh, Maina Njenga, tried to do so, and this never became a successful. And even when we look at the way this meeting was organized, uh, Maina Njenga had invited all the Mount Kenya elected and unelected leaders from the mountain so that they can converge at Kimoru Stadium for them to deliberate how their unity was going to focus how their people are going to benefit not only in this government but future government. So Martha Wangare Karua is coming up with another Limuru 3 conference that is going to happen the 17th May of this month. And you know, they want to dialogue. They want to put the house in order. As we are being told that Rigadi Gashago has been invited, Uhuru Megei Kenyatta has been invited, including all leaders and Mount Kenya residents uh, to this Limuru 3 conference. I want you to listen to Martha Wangare Karua, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a favor and sure you like the video. I realize that you guys, you watch the video, you don't like the video, then you go. Do you know that when you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this video? And I will appreciate you so much if you consider liking this video. Also consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed. And give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. Let us listen to what Mata Wangare Karua is saying. The other Korean daughter, to Semania Muru three, Mueri, a Kumina Mugwaja, Toga Shire, Uberwanyo by a mouth Kenya, to many Medue Rare Rengi, not to many Urato Wishoka Neria, to Egitere. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the fear in the mountain? The fear is this time round they are having the deputy president, that is Rigari Gashawa. Some individuals like Mata Wangari Karua, they don't believe that Rigari Gashawa can take course of the mountain to the next level. And they believe that Mount Kenya region, or Kikuyus, they deserve better than what they have as regard the shower is to take over the mantle from the former president Uhuru Megei Kenyatta. Remember Mount Kenya region is having several leaders, people like Peter Kenneth, Mata Wangari Karua, Rigadi Gashagwa. Still we are having Uhuru Megei Kenyatta also command, commanding a section group of the mountain. And remember, for them to call this Limuru 3 conference to bring together not only Kikuyus but all Mount Kenya people via their reps for a stock tech and deliberations for a common approach towards their future in the politics of the Republic of Kenya, this is not something that is fast. We saw it when Maina and Jenga started, started it, but he was blackmailed. He was branded as someone that was revamping a uh, mungiki across the mountain region. You saw even young men who tried to access Kimoru Stadium for this planned meeting of Maina Jenga, they were literally arrested. And despite of the case, I know it has not been finalized. 
Again, Martha Wangari Karua is coming out to plan another meeting. The Rigali Gashawa insiders are telling us that also Rigali Gashawa has been invited. And we are being told that Rigali Gashawa is going to attend that meeting. Not only Rigali Gashawa, but also we are having Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. I know some people are asking, is Uhuru Kenyatta going to attend that meeting? But one thing that I know, there, was, there is, or rather there was, a, a working formula in between Uhuru Megai Kenyatta and the support they had, um, Uhuru Kenyatta supported Martha Wangari Karua and Raila Amulu Udinga's candidacy. And so, I know if Martha Wangari Karua is planning something, I know Uhuru Kenyatta is also invited. And what if these people invited, for example, like Peter Kenneth, we are having Mwangi Wairia, we are having Martha himself, not himself, Martha herself, we are having um, Rigali Gashawa. So we are having principles there. Are they going to agree that it is Rigali Gashawa? Because we are being told the mountain is so intense. Why are they so intense? Because they are feeling like that some part of other regions, they are so united. And the level they are speaking is about the future politics. But then, on this side, William Ruto is busy dividing them in terms of dynasty and also hustlers. Remember when William Ruto stormed the mountain, he came out telling the mountain that he had an agenda for the mountain. And the agenda of the mountain was development and uniting them in terms of the government they were going to get. But upon our realizations, ladies and gentlemen, and my investigation through my research, I've realized that regarding the Shabwa, has not yet unite, uh, he has not come out to unite the mountain. I know some people will say that, but he is the deputy president and he is only the person holding the second high office in the Republic of Kenya. And so the mountain will prefer working with Rigali Gashagwa than Mata Wangare Karwa. And also they will prefer working with Rigali Gashagwa than Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. But Kenyans, let me tell you something. I want you to understand something that very complex. Remember, when Uhuru Kenyatta was supporting Raila Murudinga. He came out warning the mountain. What did Uhuru Kenyatta uh, told the mountain? That Chungeni, these people whom you are going to elect, they're having issues. And the issues I do understand more than you. And so he gave an alert earlier on, before even the electioneering period. And he said that if you're going to elect these individuals, you're going to suffer. Are they suffering? Yes, they're suffering. So can we have some individuals who are going to replace Rigali Gashawa? Because the cause of the mountain is that they are feeling like they should not be left out of any government that is going to be formed in the Republic of Kenya. And so they are feeling like, as Rigali Gashawa and William Ruto, they are losing the ground in the mountain. So they should also rebrand themselves with a team that when they unite with other regions, they are going to take this presidency. And also, despite of Uhuru, uh, or rather William Ruto and Rigali Gashawa, they are busy and so constant. How they are still uniting the mountain on their side? We are just waiting. Is Rigali Gashawa going to attend that meeting? And what is the agreement working formula? Is Uhuru Kenyatta going to attend that meeting? What is the working ag uh, uh, agreement formula? The same to Martha Wangari Karua, the same to Peter Kenneth, the same to Mwangi Wairia. The same to these business people from the mountain because they're feeling like they're being, uh, they're submerging to this um, problem that William Ruta and Regal Gashag were brought in the mountain. They were promised even capitals of their businesses. They were promised that taxes ilikuwa yonder level. But as you speak, when William Ruta took over, the taxes, 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 and taxes. That is the song of the day in the mountain. So we are just waiting whatever is going to happen on this 17th May, as Mata Wangari Karua has already declared that this is a conference that is so determined to bring together not only Kikuyus, but all non Kenyan people via their stock reps to take and also have their del uh, deliberations from a common approach towards their future politics and power in the Republic of Kenya. And so we are just waiting uh, regarding the Shawa and his team going to rebrand this meeting as something that is going against the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa, are they going to destroy this conference? 
That is what we are waiting. But as per the days goes by, I know things will come very clear. Is Uhuru Kenyatta attending? Is Ngadi Geshago attending? And other individuals? That is what we are waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.